how to create your own custom item in Trackmania with any text you want by first creating the SVG file, importing it into Blender, exporting the item from Blender into Trackmania. The benefit of making this a custom item is that it always loads for players and you can easily reuse this in any of your tracks. The first thing we need to do is create an SVG file using Inkscape. So I'll create this, uh, click on the create text icon and just type in route by Matt DTO. I'm using CEO script bold with a font size of 40. Then click on the arrow again and make sure your text is selected and click path and object to path. And if you don't do that, then it won't import correctly into Blender. Then go to file export. That will open up this export window, go to selection, and then select export select, selected only. And you can click hide export settings and then select SVG and remember where you save it to and what the name is and just click export. So go create a new project in Blender and it's going to look just like this. So we can delete the camera and the light and we'll use the cube for scale. So we'll just move this out of the way for now. So you can kind of move it over a little bit and we'll go to file import SVG and mine is in download. So I'll import my SVG file. So you can see it imported as a bunch of different paths here. It's if you zoom into the origin, you should see it here and it's very small text and we'll have to fix this O, which I'll show um, in a second. So click on the path and hold select and select all the paths and you'll have to right click on the object here. So you can also select them by highlighting them. So right click, say convert to mesh. So you can see these icons change from a curve to this triangle. And then we're going to want to right click and say join to convert it just into one mesh. And then we'll go into edit mode and we'll go and fix this O. And so hopefully yours doesn't end up like this. So if you zoom in and things are disappearing, open this view tab right here. And we can say clip start like 0 0.00. One. And then if you highlight this part and click view and then frame selected, that will get us like a nice view right here. So since there are lots of dots here, uh, we're going to merge them. So we, we basically need to create faces to fill in the part that's missing. So I'm going to merge dots that are close together. Like we'll select, or I guess I should call them vertices, but we'll hit M like select some hit M and then say merge at center. If you're not selecting vertices, you need to make sure this dot in the upper left is like the select mode is on vertex. So I'll just select some hit M and then hit enter to say add center. So it's like select M enter. And then you, you just keep doing that like with all the way around. Cause we don't really need that much detail. It's going to look good, uh, from further away. So we, we just don't need as much detail as what's normally in an SVG file. Okay, and then we're going around the outside as well. So now that we merge all the vertexes, we need to fill these in with faces. So you can select a couple of the vertex that we want to merge and then just hit F to fill it. And we wanna make sure that there, none of them are overlapping. So if you click on the face selection mode and select each face, like each face should not be overlapping with other faces. So we're going to just go and select vertexes and it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, hit F to fill it, not M. M was merging. So we'll just go around and fill faces all the way around. So they can be rectangles or squares, whatever is easiest. And now that we get to the end here, we're going to just make some triangles. And that's finishes up our O. Oh. So now we can hit A to select everything and then E to extrude it. So this is gonna be basically how thick we want our text to look. So I'll put it right here. And one thing that is totally optional, but if you press A to select everything, click on move and see where this line is that it lines up with the bottom of our text. If you want it to overhang so you can see it like through the other side of items, like see your text backwards, you can basically just move this down a little bit so that way the red line is basically like halfway through and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to look uh, great in game either way. So now we need to scale it up. 
So hit A and then S to scale it. And we basically want it to be like, probably like four times bigger than this block uh, to look good in game. And there's different ways to change the size as well when you export it in the Blender Media settings. So the next thing we need to do is click UV Unwrap and then UV Smart UV Project. And this will create a UV layer. So if you click on UV Editing, you can see it created this UV layer on the left. When you have a UV layer, if there are any overlapping sections, these create shadow bugs. And so instead of dealing with shadow bugs, we're just gonna export black text to make it easy. But if you wanna do colors without shadow bugs, then you have to go fix the UV layers. So then we'll go back to layout and actually we'll go to edit mode, select everything again, and we need to create a material. So I already have one here, but let's just go to Blender Mania and then materials. And we're gonna create, um, we'll make it black and we're gonna do the custom concrete. And then I'll just call it black concrete and click create. So that'll show up now in this materials list. So I have this little red circle selected and then we can select the material black concrete. So select this whole text and click assign and that will assign the black concrete. So now if I click like select, that selects what's been assigned with that material. So this will show up black uh, in game and we won't see any shadow bugs. And now we go back to object mode and go to Blender Mania and we're gonna want to export this path item. You can select a icon here. So in item icon, you can select the icon. And if we do a test render, you can see how it's gonna look. So let's say we want to do like front, actually we'll do like top and then do a test render. So we can see it. So it'll actually, the icon will look like that. Unfortunately, the icon importer is broken at the moment, but in the future, hopefully when you're watching this, that uh, should work. But if you're watching this right when the video is released, it's broken. Make sure your path is selected. And this is what the item name is going to be. So like if I want to say, uh, so I can double click it and I'll just type a uh, route by Matt DTO. So that's what our item name will be. So I'll select the path, which is what we want to export. Actually, before you export, make sure you save, and I'll save it as route by Matt DTO, and then click on export and convert one selection. So it won't export the cube. Now we're back in Trackmania, and if you go to your custom items, you'll probably see it either with the wrong icon or some crazy looking icon, and the text is flat here. So since we didn't rotate it in Blender, you can just hit the down arrow six times to rotate it in game. And since it overlapped, you can put it uh, like we made it overlap with the origin in Blender, if you rotate it, you can put the text backwards as well. So maybe that's more useful for images or something, I don't know, but we'll just go ahead, place the text right there and see what it looks like in game. So there we go. That's how to create any text from an SVG into an item in Trackmania. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.